In this video, we are going to talk about electric forces. So let's say we have two charges. And let's say this is positive and this is negative. Okay, let's say this is Q1 and this is Q2. And let's assume to say Q1 has got 200 microcoulomb. Then Q2 has got negative 300 microcoulomb. Okay, and let's say that the separation distance between these two points, between these two charges, is just basically um, 100 centimeters. Okay, or to make it so interesting, let's say it is just basically 80 centimeters. How do we get to calculate the electric force? Okay, so we need to find the magnitude of the electric forces. Now, to get the magnitude of the electric force, electric force is given by the formula F is given by K, Q1, Q2, over R squared, where K is the Coulomb's constant, which is given by 9.0 times 10 raised to the power 9, Okay, Newton meter squared per Coulomb squared. Then R is the separation distance. In this case, our R is 80 centimeters. Then this Q which we have here, we have got Q1 and Q2. These are charges. So how do we get to find the electric force? Okay, let's go ahead and find the electric forces. But we need to get to understand that eh, electric charge, the assignment for electric charge is Coulomb. But we've been given the charges which are in what? Which are in microcoulomb. So to convert the microcoulomb into coulomb, we need just to get this value times 10 raised to the power negative 6. Okay. What I mean there is that uh, 1 coulomb is just basically 10 to the power 6 microcoulomb. So 1 microcoulomb is just equal to 10 raised to the power negative 6 coulomb. Okay, so we are converting from microcoulomb into coulomb, meaning we need just to, to get that value times 10 raised to the power negative 6. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug in the values. So we have got the electric force, which is going to be given by, we are saying that K is, is, is a constant and it's always, been, it's, it's always given, is 9 times 10 raised to the power 9. Okay, then we have got uh, this one, which is 200 times 10 raised to the power 6, meaning I've converted this one from coulomb into microcoulomb. Okay. Then, we also have um, Q1, which is, or Q2, which is, is negative, but we are getting, we want to find the magnitude of electric force. So we don't, we are not interested in negative, so we're going to ignore the negative. We're going to get the magnitude of that charge. It's going to be 300 times 10 raised to the power negative 6 coulomb. Everything divided by, we have got uh, 80 centimeters. So we have to convert this 80 centimeters into meters. So to convert from centimeters into meters, divide it by 100. So it's going to be 0 0.8 squared. Okay. So now, I've got my calculator here. So this times uh, 200 exponent negative 6 times a uh, 300 exponent negative 6. On top there, I'm getting 540. Then everything divided by 0 0.8, we square it. Okay, so I'm getting 843.75. So my electric force is going to be equal to 843.75 newtons. So this is my electric force. Okay, so this is how you get to find the electric force. Sometimes... Sometimes you might be given the value of E0. Okay? So the value for E0, uh, you can find K using the value of what? The value of E0. Okay? So the value of E0 is just basically 8.86, 8.85 times 10 raised to the power negative 12 uh, Newton. Oh, no, no, not really Newton, but it's supposed to be Coulomb is coulomb squared then newton meter squared okay now what we need to understand is that uh, 
k is also given by 1 over 4 pi the e naught where the e naught is that value okay so if you are to plug in the values here we are supposed to get the value of k as 9.0 times 10 raised to the power 9 uh, newton meter squared per kurum squared Okay, so sometimes you might be given the E naught, so you should just know that the value for E naught is just basically 8.85 times 10 to the power negative 12. Okay, <coughs> that is what we need to understand. Now, from there, let's have another example. So, before we get to, to, to solve another example, we need to understand that eh, if you have got two charges... The, maybe these two charges have got opposite charges. This is positive, this is negative. These two charges, they are going to attract each other. Okay? If you have got another two charges, maybe like charges, they have to repel. So if you have got positive, positive, or negative, negative, they are going to repel. Okay, now, as we, we have already said that the distance in between these two charges is what we call R. And this R is the separation distance. That is what we need to understand under electric forces.